Yep. Um, but you could. Sandwich. Oh, you want that yeah. same? It's because you have very good taste, my darling. Oh. Oh. That's as big as your face. Super warm, cozy sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> and bloody roasting, Daddy. <laughs> it's hard with this like juxtaposition between like hot and cold here. It's like yeah. you come inside and it's roasting, and then you go outside and it's freezing. It's like minus five today, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice actually, but it's really dry. Yeah. Which is great. Good morning everybody, we are back in Oslo today, Oslo city, hi Harvey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a really nice weekend, we're kind of exploring like um, the countryside around Oslo, so we went up mm. to a really nice lake, we went to a waterfall yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's one of the great things about Oslo is it's just all of these, yeah. you've kind of got the city but then you've got all the hills around it and you can just disappear into the countryside yeah. really easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, nice, it's it? amazing, yeah. I think in the summer like you can go swimming and the lakes and the waterfalls and there's just the like, and... yeah, the fjord and it's just so much, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's we'll great. have to come back in the summer. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're back in the city today. It's our last day in Oslo. We leave tomorrow morning. Um, so we have come up to the botanical garden and we're going to have a little wander around here. Aoife's asleep, so this is like nap time walk. <laughs> yeah, um, cool, we already got the world's best cinnamon bun this morning. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't good. eat like... I, I ate like half of it. I couldn't eat it. They're massive. Yeah, they're, they're from um, Samson. Um, they're really good. And they Knotted, actually, not rolled. Knotted, not rolled and they're baked in individual like cases apparently that's why they're so good <laughs> yeah, they are the best they are the best it's apart from mine like mine perfect, are really good it's just like a perfect mix <laughs> of like sweet cinnamon and bread and like crispy but doughy yeah just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um waxing lyrical about <laughs> well why not exactly <laughs> But yeah, we're just uh, yeah wandering around here and then gonna have a little wander around the city. Um, I have my eye on some Scandinavian homeware stores. <laughs> and um, I don't know, just a little wonder. We might go to the library later. Apparently the library's really nice and great for kids because they've got a whole floor 
kids. Oops. <laughs> so we might do that later. And um, yeah, just wander around, enjoy our last day in Oslo, being city people. Um, slightly different style of video. We're not usually city folk, are we, Harvey? No, but it's quite nice. It's I nice. Mean, as far yeah. as cities go, I think this is probably like the most nature-based city yeah. out there, I'd yeah. say. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been really nice exploring and it's quite festive and yeah, it's, quiet it's fun. Well, and it's quiet. It? Yeah, so. In Best place to live in the world. <laughs> Oslo, uh, Norway, yeah. yeah. If only Oslo was here. We do miss him, by the way. He's with my mum, just in case you're wondering. He's with my mum and his sister Ola and he's having a nice time, but I'm sure he does miss us and we will see him soon. One day, one day, Oslo to Oslo. Oslo to Oslo, that's like our, that's, that's that's the, like our goal in life, is yeah, to take Oslo dream. to Oslo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, do you want to go up? Yeah, go up there. Yeah. Okay. Dad life. Great. <laughs> Loving this uh, the sleeping bag. This thing is yeah. Amazing. Tell us about uh, it, where we got it. Well, I mean, everyone's got them out here. It's yeah. just like a must. And it's just sheepskin. Sheepskin lining, really thick, uh, waterproof cover. Most perfect. And our I friends. Think is like super cozy. Our friends it? lent it us. Yeah, and they kind of said we could probably buy it off them. Yeah, so we might buy it off their them. Their kids are older, so they don't use it anymore. It's so cozy. She's so cozy. I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Dad Jokes 101. Uh, what's the difference between a stoat and a weasel? I don't know, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> stoat is totally different, while weasel is reasonably recognisable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing either. I don't even know why I told you. Currently in the Grunerlocker area, which is like apparently it's like the Shoreditch of Oslo, so it's kind of like the cool area. We just went to a really nice cafe called Gott Brut, Gott Brut, and we are going to go find. We're just kind of wandering around a little bit, but we might go find my homewares. Scandinavian homewares, <laughs> and maybe a little bit of Christmas shopping. A little bit. We don't have that much baggage space, do we? No, <laughs> which you need to be very aware of. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's really nice here. It's, it's a really pretty neighbourhood, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Greenwood's great. Yeah.
So we are back at our accommodation now. Uh, we had a really nice day in Oslo today. My camera actually died, the battery died. I think because it was so cold, I went through two batteries, even though I didn't even take that much footage today. Um, when it's really cold, the batteries die. So I took a little bit of footage on my phone at the end. Basically, after we left you guys, we were in the library, I think. So we went to the public library, we went from the opera house to the public library, which was right next door. Um, I was recommended it by somebody on Instagram, so thank you if you're watching. <laughs> and it was really amazing. It was this incredible building and it had a really nice cafe um, on the ground floor and a really nice little shop called Nomad, which had loads of like outdoor and travel equipment, which was nice. And then, but we actually went in there because we wanted to go to the kids floor, which was so cool. It had this like, well, first of all, it had buggy parking, which I don't know, I just thought was really cool as a mum, <laughs> that you could just go and park your buggy there. And the English person in me was like, oh, I can't possibly leave my stuff here unattended. Someone will steal it, but everyone just left their stuff there. So I suppose it's quite safe. Obviously I didn't really leave too many valuables there, but um, yeah, that was really cool. And then there was like soft play, which was obviously free. Um, there were loads of really nice kids books and like, play stuff for little ones and Aoife was just kind of toddling around and going up to other kids. It was just really cool. We could easily have spent a couple of hours there, but we were right at the end of the day and Aoife was quite tired. So we just spent a little bit of time there um, before getting the train back. But it, yeah, it was a really nice end to our day. And we are just kind of packing up now. We have to leave really early in the morning, about five. No, we have to get up at five. We're leaving here at about six. So you probably don't actually have to get up at five, but early anyway. Um, and our flight is in the, yeah, 9.55. And so yeah, looking forward to seeing Oslo tomorrow. <laughs> From Oslo back to Oslo. <laughs> um, but, I'm just packing and I thought I would show you some of the things that I bought from this really nice shop that I went into three times since being in Oslo and it's this one. It's called Sustrene Grenes. I obviously don't speak Norwegian. <laughs> Harvey's watching me and laughing at me in the corner. <laughs> so guys, Sustrene Grenes, that lines. sounds... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, but it was a really nice shop. Um, kind of just stumbled across it and wanted to buy everything. The first time I went in, restrained myself, went in two more times and bought more things every time. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you. If You're you... very restrained. I was very proud of you. It's because the only reason I was so restrained is because we don't have very much <laughs> baggage space at all. And... I don't know how I'm gonna get this back. Actually, most of what I bought is quite small and like packs down, so. We'll squeeze it in. Yeah, we'll squeeze it in. <laughs> There's always space. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're into Scandinavian homewares, stick around right now. <laughs> okay, so first thing, I bought this nice little stocking, which I thought was quite cute. I have to say as well, it was quite reasonably priced to say that Norway is a very expensive com uh, company, country, it was quite um, reasonably priced, which is why I bought quite a few bits. I bought this really cute little little elf man. I just thought he'd look really cute on our fireplace. In fact, Harvey picked this, so he's laughing at me, but he actually picked this. <laughs> it looks like the Tomton. It does look like the Tomton, which is a really nice kids book we have for Aoife. It's actually Swedish, that book. But, um, and then I bought these nice um, ceramic Christmas trees. So I bought a green one, a, and then these two like white ones that are two different sizes, which again, I thought would look really nice on our mantelpiece with our wooden ones as well that we stock in our store. So I thought they'd just be nice. And then, and then other than that, I bought these. So everyone in, in Norway, maybe it's a Scandinavian thing, they have the stars in their windows. It must be a, it's a Christmas thing. Um, so they have these stars hanging in their windows and they're all lit up and they look really beautiful. So we're kind of like going along on the bus and I could just see all these stars in the windows and I really wanted to get one, um, but I couldn't find one that lit up. I imagine if we wanted to buy a light up one, it would be quite big and bulky, but I got some like little decorative ones. I'll show you these at home when we put them up because you can't really see them now, but I bought, three of them and they're all different and I just thought 
that they would be really nice in our house, hanging up in the window or somewhere. I bought a green one, like a kind of beigey pinky one, and then a white one with uh, gold, gold on it. And yeah, they looked really nice in the shop, so I thought they'd be nice in our house. And then some like, just gift tags for gifts, which I thought were nice. And I bought some wrapping paper as well, which I'm really hoping I'll, they, they won't be bothered about me just having this in my bag. <laughs> just checking it's in focus so you can see. But this one has got like reindeer and little mice on it and I thought it would be pretty cute for Aoife's presents. Um, and then these two are just like pine cones and leaves and stuff, so they're nice. And last thing, or a couple of things, uh, we bought a couple of presents for Aoife. She's like obsessed with when we have tea in the morning. She goes, tea! So we bought her this little teapot, which is just a cute little toy gift. It's like a little wooden teapot. And then this is actually wrapped up, so I'll just open it. And then just this little teacup with a saucer. And I know we could just use a normal cup, but they're just kind of cute. So yeah, that's for her. So yeah, that's everything I bought. And we also, my sisters sometimes, one of my sisters watches my videos and my mum watches my videos. But I'll just show you that we did buy my sisters some chocolate. <laughs> some Scandi chocolate, Norwegian chocolate, and some yummy chocolates for just to have in the house around Christmas time. This chocolate is really good. We got some for ourselves as well. But yeah, we fly home tomorrow, so I will vlog tomorrow as well, a little travel day. And yeah, thanks for watching our Oslo videos and see you soon.